Hello there. My name is Dr. Ngozi Onoha. So do you want to know more about sexually transmitted infections? We're coming up to STD Awareness Week. This occurs every April in the USA. There are three campaigns this year, and I'm going to go over them shortly. So I'm the founder of Health for Niger. I provide health awareness on social media and provide school talks, community talks, health outreach, and online presentation. So let's talk about STDs and what they are. They are caused by bacteria, parasites, or viruses. And here's a list of them. Well, it looks scary. But the good news is that all STDs are preventable and treatable, and most are curable. So the reason we want to test and treat is because we don't want STDs to occur. So let's go over the difference between STIs and STDs. So STIs are sexually transmitted infections. STDs means sexually transmitted disease. This is more serious. It's very easy to test for sexually transmitted infection with a urine test, just peeing in a cup or blood test or a finger stick. A lot of people with STDs do not have any symptoms. So the only way to protect your health is to get tested and get treated. A lot of the STDs are very easy to treat with antibiotics. Untreated infections can lead to pelvic inflammation, abscesses in women, it can block tubes and cause infertility down the line. In men, STDs can cause inflammation of the testicles, inflammation of the urethra, and that can cause strictures down the line and other genital health concerns in the future. So getting tested and getting treated is the best strategy to preventing a sexually transmitted infection or preventing a sexually transmitted disease. According to the CDC, one in five people in the USA has a sexually transmitted infection. So what can you do? You can test for STDs with your sex partner, you can get tested and get treated. So one of the campaigns for the STD Awareness Week is prepare before you're there. So what's the game plan? The game plan is conversation, is having quest, a series of questions, asking your sex partner a series of questions and also asking yourself, if you've had sex without a condom in the last 12 months, then possibly you could be at risk and you want to get tested. If you've ever had a sexually transmitted infection, Having an STI places you at a higher risk of having another one because of the same or similar sex behaviors. Have your partners had an STD or STI? If your partner has had an STI, then you may need treatment. If you or your partner has used illicit substances, that predisposes you to STI such as hepatitis and HIV. So in that case, you should get tested. Have you exchanged sex for needs, such as housing or money if in the past 12 months? If that's the case, then you need to get tested. So that's the game plan. The game plan is really asking yourself questions, asking your partners, partner questions and getting tested. Is it possible that any of your sex partners in the past 12 months has had sex with someone else while in a sexual relationship with you? If that's the case, then you 
and your sex partner needs to get tested. So long-term mutually monogamous relationships means that you are sexually active with just one person and this reduces your risk of sexually transmitted infections from multiple sex partners. So the other campaign is to talk to test and to treat, which we've talked about, talking to your partner before sex to make informed choices. Ask if they've been treated or tested for an STD or STI. The use of condoms is very important to protect against STIs and STDs. So talk, test, and treat. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you've learned a lot today from this presentation on how to protect yourself against STIs and STDs. If you like this presentation, click subscribe, like, and share with your friends. You can also follow Health for Niger on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you and bye for now.